Yeah, that's, that's true. But you see, since we're living in a time where the word has been replaced by the image, the, uh, if you will, existential question then becomes, can language itself retain meaning in what has essentially become a post-lingual world? And this is why, for my second novel, I tried to do something a little more serious. <clears throat> my name is Seth Greenland, and I've written a new novel called Shining City. It's set in Los Angeles, so naturally, it begins in a hot tub with a pimp and three hookers. In the grand storytelling tradition, Shining City has romance, mystery, and of course, a bar mitzvah. Shining City. Marcus Rips is a regular guy who lives in the valley. He never knew the world of dry cleaning could be so stimulating. Or that life in the carpool lane could look like this. <laughs> Shining city. <laughs> There's a dead body in the forest. A happy customer in El Segundo. <laughs> and someone's grandmother learns how to pole dance. This isn't the pole dancing grandmother. This is my Aunt Grace. She just wanted to be in the video. Shining City. It's literary fiction. I'm Seth Greenland, and I've written a new novel called There's a <laughs> Dog Barking in the Background. How do I get that dog to shut up? Take two. 